When you save a file to your computer or your tablet or your phone or anywhere else, there are two ways to save it. You can save it to that device's local storage, or you can save it to cloud storage, like Google Drive, OneDrive, or iCloud. Examples of local storage include things like the desktop on a computer, or the downloads folder, or my documents, or many other folders. Another example of local storage is when you're in your iPad, and maybe you're saving a file on the Word app. If you save it to iPad, that's local storage. On the other hand, OneDrive is cloud storage. So what's the difference? If you're on your computer and you save something locally to that device, it is stored literally on that device. So if you're later on your cell phone and you want to access the file, you can't because the cell phone doesn't communicate to your computer. That's where Google comes in. They say, hey, don't save the file on your computer. Save the file on our computer. And this is perfect because if you're later working on your cell phone, you can access Google from both devices. That's what cloud storage does for us. And Google is not the only company who offers this cloud storage. Apple offers iCloud storage. Microsoft offers OneDrive storage. So these all effectively do the same thing. The difference is just the company, and sometimes the features are a little different too. Now, we usually know how to access cloud storage. There are apps for it on the iPad, and on a computer, you just use your web browser like Safari or Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. How about local storage? To find files that are saved on your own device, on a computer, there's a button you can click, and when you click this icon, it brings up something called the Files Explorer. And here you can see the different folders you have, and there are shortcuts on the left, and sometimes you'll see actual files like this. What about when you're on an iPad? On an iPad, we use something called the Files app, in order to see all of our files. So let's go ahead and find this app. If you don't see it, you may have to download it in self-service. So you can click here, find this icon, and then click Install. OK, let's tap on the Files app now. On the left side, you have your various drives and storage locations. So I see something for iCloud. I see on my iPad but there should be more. After all, I have a Google Drive account. If you're in this position and you know you have other accounts, click on the Edit button up here. Then I'm going to slide over for Drive and OneDrive. You can reorder them if you like using these uh, three lines click and drag up and down, but I'm finished, so I will click Done. So let me click now on iCloud, and you see it's empty. You might be thinking, hey, aren't there backups that should show here? And the simple answer is that iCloud hides those backups when they show you what's inside. Okay, now click on Drive, and here are my folders and files, just like I expected. I can click into the folder, to see the subfolders and so forth. Let me hit the back arrow. And now watch this. When I try to click on OneDrive, it's going to ask me to sign in because I haven't done that on this iPad. If you have any drives that you have not signed into, take a moment now and sign in. So teachers, at this time, you can pause the video, make sure students have all of these locations showing, uh, and give them a chance to sign into their drives if needed. OK, we're all logged in. Now click on my iPad from the left panel. Our next task is pretty simple. Take a moment to look through your folders and find any files that you have not saved to a cloud storage. So for example, if I click into this Word folder, here is a file that has only been saved to my iPad. And if my iPad crashes, I will lose this file. 
let me move it over to Google Drive so that I can retain the file and find it even if my iPad crashes. Okay, the way we move this over, we can click the Select button, check the box, and then we can click Move down here at the bottom. When we click the Move button, we have the option to select Google Drive, which is what I will be using, and then I can click into my various folders. So I should put this in the appropriate folder, uh, perhaps English is the appropriate folder here. And when I've selected English, I then click Copy. The nice thing about this is when you hit Select, you can copy multiple files at the same time. So I can check the box and click on multiple files and move them all at once. Okay, take a moment, teachers, you can pause the video and allow students to search through their folders and move any unsaved files to their cloud storage. That's it for this video. Uh, we're finished. The one final piece we want to mention is you can see now after looking at your different storages and your drives, you can see why it's so important to name your files. If you have 20 files all called document, um, then finding the ones that you need will be really difficult. So as you start with a clean slate this year, get into a, a good habit of saving your files, backing them up to your cloud storage, creating folders where every, everything can live in a nice organized fashion. Thanks for watching.